Hey, what's happening everyone? Sir James coming at you guys with another video. And in today's video, I'm here to give you guys a channel update for the month of December, 2015. In this case, the final month of the year. And to be honest, this year was like a roller coaster ride for me where some months were like super fast and other months were like super slow. Uh, but overall, a great year for video games. I'm definitely looking forward to what we have in store for 2016, especially VR gaming. But anyways, before we get on all that, let's go ahead and talk about subscribers. As you guys know, I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers I'm actually about 120 or 130 subscribers away from reaching the 20k mark so I'm hoping we could reach that before 2016 hits but with your guys's help and support I'm sure we can of course I'm going to be uploading some content which you guys can enjoy and hopefully you know people may like that and even subscribe from that but like I said we're very close to my goal this year so I'm hoping we could reach that and next up is um, a little update or improvements I've been making on the channel because like I said, I've been mostly taking this time to get ready for 2016 and of course, you know, do some extra Christmas shopping because, you know, I still have my dad to shop for, a little bit more shopping for my mom before Christmas hits and all that fun stuff. But as you guys know, I upgraded my uh, PC's graphics card from a GTX 770 to a GTX 960 and the graphics card has been working great for me for what I need it for. The only downside to the GTX 960 is that it doesn't support VR gaming. So if I wanted to get the Oculus ripped, I would need to upgrade to the GTX 770 or higher, but I'm not worried about the Oculus Rift right now because for 2016, I'm more excited for PlayStation VR. Uh, next up is I upgraded my PlayStation 4 from the 500 gigabyte uh, system that originally came with to a two terabyte. So now that's ready to go. Um, what else? I got a new panel for my PC with some LED lights. That's not really like a major improvement that's going to benefit anything, but I like walking by my computer and just seeing the inside of my case all lit up and stuff. That looks really nice. But uh, other than that, like I said, just making, making little upgrades here and there. I also updated my YouTube profile image. I also changed my YouTube banner. Now for my new YouTube banner at the moment, you're probably looking and saying, what does this mean? What does this stand for? Basically each and every one of the systems on the banner represents the consoles of which I cover on my channel. Now you guys are probably noticing that in the centerpiece is the PlayStation VR. That's because in 2016, I do plan on covering PlayStation VR. And I hope you guys look forward to that because believe it or not, when my channel first got started, motion gaming was the main highlight. That was basically the main focus on the channel where I was covering a lot of Xbox 360 Connect titles and if you go to my channel right now and you checked out my most viewed video my most viewed video is actually Power Rangers Super Samurai for the Xbox 360 Connect with over 2 million views it's actually at the halfway point from getting to 3 million views so that's pretty crazy and then you know now we have the Xbox One and unfortunately Microsoft isn't doing jack squat with the Xbox One like I haven't heard any type of Connect games besides Just Dance and just Dance, I can't really count as, you know, motion gaming because it's very basic, just a simple little movement here and there. And that's about it. I want like real motion gaming where it requires a lot of motion. Like for example, uh, Disney's Fantasia Music Evolved was a good example. Or other games like um, Fable the Journey for the Xbox 360 Connect. Fruit Ninja is another perfect example. I mean, they make this improvement for the Connect, but they don't utilize it for any game. Supposedly they're making games, but I haven't heard anything. But like I said, I'm looking forward to PlayStation VR because all I've been hearing is games, 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 and a lot of like positive feedback about you know everyone's experience with the PlayStation VR. And I'm excited for a game called Rigs. If you guys have seen the trailer, if you haven't, I'll have a link somewhere below, or there should be like a little ad that pops up here. Um, but yeah, really excited about that. So that's something you guys could expect. Um, I also did a recent unboxing video for the. Halo 5 Guardians Collector's Edition. Like I said, it's on sale at GameStop for $150, not a sponsor. And if you want this, you could get this for $100 on Amazon if it's still available. Again, links are in the description down below, but $100 bucks for that thing? That's a good deal. Um, next thing is a couple items. So one of them I never showed you guys on the Black Friday uh, haul video, but I also got this Assassin's Creed wallet right here, which uh, I can't believe I forgot to show you guys, but there it is. And I was at GameStop the other day when I picked up this and I found a uh, PlayStation 4 hard drive cover plate. Now, normally you could get that from like Sony's website or custom made ones online. But this one, I'm not sure where this one came from, but here it is. It has a soccer ball on it. Now, the reason why I'm really liking this one 
is due to the fact that I've played soccer for over 17 years and I've been a referee for AYSO for eight years. I know now you guys know a little bit more about me in terms of some of the activities I do. But yeah, like I said, I've been refing for eight years um, for AYSO. I recently got me a new referee coin because I was refing a tournament this month for the um, Region 37 Corona Norco AYSO Cup, I believe is what my coin looks like. And then on the back has a soccer ball which looks identical to the cover plate. So I thought that was kind of weird. Maybe it was a, a sign, I don't know, but yeah. And um, a couple of the teams from my little brother and sister team actually they gave me some stuff. Uh, one of them was this dog tag right here. On the back it says referee JD Mitchell, just uh, you know, short for my name. And their team was Desert Snipers. There you guys go. And the other team they gave me a $25 gift card to the movie theater. So here's my Star Wars tickets right here in hand. Um, so that was very nice of them. You know, I don't ask for gifts. I don't charge people to referee for their games. I do it voluntarily for free because, you know, it gets me out there to do something for, you know, three or four hours, depending on how many games I'm going to ref, you know, get some exercise and come back home and play more video games. So like I said, I do that free of charge, uh, but people like to give me gifts and that was really cool of them. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much about it. Now, game coverages. You guys are kind of curious because I uploaded a trailer for the Assassin's Creed. Um, I can't remember. It's Assassin's Creed Syndicates, uh, the Reaper DLC, whatever the name was. I, I just everything is like a lot of stuff is going through my mind right now. But I am going to be covering that DLC. It comes out this Tuesday. It's going to be $15. So you don't need the season pass. If you do have the season pass, it is free. But I will be covering that DLC this week on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And there's another game. I'm not going to do a full coverage for this, but because Gamer Fusion just asked me to make a video and a review for it which is a Nintendo 3DS game called Radio Hammer. It's basically like a rhythm game. It's very simplistic. And I know this one definitely came from Japan because if you miss hitting the enemies, they basically turn around and flash your character in which you lose health. So yeah, you could tell it's definitely from Japan. I'm kind of used to all the weird crazy stuff that Japan has in their game and all that fun stuff. Like, I mean, I played games in the back, in the back, <laughs> games in the past where you hack and slash other characters and basically if you do enough damage with the clothes starts to rip apart. I mean, again, very simple stuff. I mean, it doesn't really bother me at all. I'm kind of used to that stuff already. Um, but yeah, like I said, the Assassin's Creed Syndicate DLC I will have covered on my channel. I got some Destiny videos on the way where I'm gonna show you guys all the new sparrows that you can get from the Sparrow Racing event. I also got this new outfit called the Momentum Gear Set, which you could only get if you bought the record book and completed the different tasks in it. And I'm trying to figure out what else. I think that's really about it. I'm also going to do some, uh, maybe some Halo 5 uh, multiplayer videos. You know, if I get some really good matches, upload that for you guys. But like I said, that's pretty much it for this month. But I'm hoping we could reach the 20K mark before this year ends. If we do, great. And of course, I also forgot to mention, I finally got myself a Christmas tree. I'm pointing over here, but a video should be playing for you guys, showing you guys my tree. Um, for 25 years, I've been wanting to have a tree in my room. You know, not like a large tree, but just a relatively small tree, something I could have in the corner that would look nice. And I do like the smell of Christmas trees, you know, during the, this time of year. So yeah, finally got one in my room and that's pretty much about it. But until then, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below. And before I go, what do you guys want for Christmas? For me, my Christmas list is simple. I want uh, some Marvel movies on Blu-ray. I don't really have any Marvel movies besides one, which is uh, Captain America and the first Avengers movie. But yeah, just Marvel uh, on Blu-ray, just anything in general. And of course, this uh, wireless headset. I mean, not wireless headset, but it's basically a wireless microphone for my video camera. Because right now I'm kind of like in a cord right now. Here's the cord connecting all the way to my camera. And it'll be kind of nice to have, ooh, I hit that be kind of nice to have like a wireless adapter so I could be able to move around and do things in general instead of kind of sitting here in one spot. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys next time and peace. Yeah.